Hello. I am speaking to Sister Carol, who is a nun. A sister. A sister. At St. Joseph's Catholic Church. She is a Felician sister. Um, and she has, I'm going to ask her several questions about how she came here to Pomona, uh, what she sees here in Pomona, and what's her future outlook for Pomona. So first, um, what brought you here to Pomona? What brought me here to Pomona is a deep desire to be present to the homeless and the marginalized and those who are trafficked and to be present among the people, all peoples of Pomona, to bring them the joy of the gospel. How did you... what are some examples of that? Of what brought me here no, or brought, examples of the presence of the people? Of what brought you here? I had memories of uh, myself working as an educator and one memory I had was when I was preparing to go to school where I was a principal and I needed to ask all of the homeless people that were on the grounds to leave because it, it's against the law for strangers to be on the school grounds and when I opened the front door there was a man sleeping right in front of the door so I closed the door and went to get a cup of coffee and a piece of toast with butter and jelly and I brought it back to him and I was actually then closed the door and I was actually watching through the window to make sure he left but before he left he took that bread and that coffee and lifted it up and held it lifting up and looking up at the sky for at least a minute and that touched me very deeply to know that this person is very was very vulnerable and yet very sacred and the other memory I had was of a little girl who um, once when we went on a field trip uh, it began to rain very very torrentially and I had only one umbrella and all these little fourth graders tried to get under this umbrella and one little girl kept pulling and tugging on my shirt and saying where do you think all the homeless people are right now? And so those memories brought me back to be present to those homeless people. At what year did you come here to Pomona? To serve the homeless, I came here in 2007. So I've been here for 10 years. And what, what was your first um, description of what you saw here in Pomona? I saw people. People who um, had... people that are like everybody else except they're homeless for various reasons and it's not for me to judge why they are homeless. I just know that they are hungry, they need clothes, but they're mostly hungry for knowing that God loves them and cares for them and cherishes them and that's my primary mission is to renew them spiritually and I know I need to give them food and clothing for them to recognize that they are hungry for the spiritual but they recognize it. And what was some of, I know that you've gone to the Pomona Valley Christian Center and like, well, how did you um, increase um, the kingdom of God while you were here more like instead of being uh, in the convent when you went out where did you go to and who did you interact with outside well the whole purpose of, of us going outside is that our foundress the foundress of the Felician sisters founded the community by going out to the people on the street uh, she was a member of the St. Vincent de Paul Society and the St. Vincent de Paul Society was always out on the streets serving the people, the homeless, the poor. 
and so she decided as a member of the St. Vincent de Paul Society that she would work mostly on the spiritual renewal of the people. So she went to find the widows and the children who had no opportunity to have any kind of formal learning. And she started by catechizing them and teaching them about Jesus and the Gospel stories and taking them every day to the church to pray. And I wanted to go back to our roots as Felician sisters and to go out on, into the streets. So we actually didn't go to Pomona Valley Christian Church first. We started walking the streets. Our, we decided to just show up to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. And what happened is people wanted to talk, people wanted to um, receive Bibles and uh, pictures of the Divine, and so that's what we started doing. What have been some notable developments that you've seen since you've been here? I don't know that I've seen any developments. But I know that at Pomona Valley Christian Church, when we first started doing the ministry there, there probably were like seven to eight people there every day. And uh, uh, after they would have their breakfast, we would sit down in a circle with chairs because at that time there was no awning, there were no t picnic tables, there were just some broken folding chairs. And we would pray the scriptures together. And then after a while, a few more people came, and a few more people came, and a few more people came. And then the sisters helped to build the awning that's there. And then our Felician Lay Associates uh, financed to the picnic tables there. So now, uh, you know, many, many people come. And I don't think they come just for the food. I think a lot of them come for the friendship, for the reading of the scriptures, and for just knowing that somebody respects them as human beings and recognizes their dignity as images of God and temples of the Holy Spirit. Do you see, where do you see the continuation of work for the homeless in Pomona? I don't know, because I don't go, um, my, I have, a, my vision is that we will always continue to be present. My hope, rather than my vision, is that those who have the resources will continue to serve the way they've been called to serve. St. Vincent de Paul has its mission. The city of Pomona is able to supply the shelter for the people. Uh, many churches are able to supply breakfast. We do that once a week, but others do it on a daily basis. Um, I see the mental health institutes offer mental health and are able to assist in that way. So there are many agencies and many churches with whom we collaborate, our mission will continue to be a presence among the people and to be interested in, in work in the endeavor of uh, offering them the spiritual presence. After so many years of service here, what can you tell us about the gradual steps of helping individuals and being consistent? For us, the consistency is continue to show up. It's not a one-night stand for us. So we go Monday through Friday at least to two different locations where we always go because they expect us there. And when we're not there, they wonder why we're not there. So for us, it's consistency. It's showing up every day. And I think homeless people, more than anyone else, need to be able to depend on some kind of routine because otherwise they have no routine in their lives. And so this opportunity for them to know that someone will be there just to talk to them, to listen to them, to respect them, to uh, acknowledge their vulnerability. Um, I think that's, that's our call, to be consistent in our presence to them. 
Would you want to say anything else about your work? I think what I want to say is that the, the wonderful um, volunteers who come to assist us, especially on Wednesdays and Mondays and Tuesdays, they, there's an overwhelming desire of people to want to help but they can't they don't know how to or they're afraid to serve directly so they want to be a part of the Felician Sisters ministry or they want to be a part of the St. Vincent de Paul ministry so that they can uh, help those who need help and feel comfortable doing it. Thank you for speaking with me. You're most welcome.